ex-UK police officer who murdered Shara Everard kept life in prison with no chance of payroll. London CNN Wayne Cousins, the former London police officer who has admitted to the kidnap, rape, and murder of Shara Everard, has been sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of a payroll, an exceptional sentence in the United Kingdom. Delivering the sentence in front of the packed, packed court room, the road justice Adrian Fulford described the Ever Everard as a blameless victim of the Glostasku executed series of offenses and called the case devastating, tragic, and wholly brutal. The judge added that the Cogins, the serving police officers at the time, had spent the entire evening of March 3rd hunting a lone female to kidnap and rape. Standing in the dock, Kajins kept his head bowed and his eyes closed, as he had done throughout the whole sentencing hearing. The judge made a point of criticizing Kajins' behavior in court, saying it was a show of self-pity. Everard, parent Jeremy and Susan, her sister Kathy, and many of her friends were in court at London's Old Bailey, a central criminal court of England and Wales. During a sentencing hearing on Wednesday, prosecutors said Cogins had used his police identification and handcuffs to deceive the Everard into getting into his car under the pre pretense that she had violated COVID-19 regulations. She raped, he raped her and strangled her with his police belt later that evening, the court heard. The life sentence is mandatory in murder cases in the UK, but it is usual up to the court to decide the minimum length of time to be served before the possibility of early release. Cogins, 48, was given a whole life order term which is very rare and reserved for exceptionally ser serious crimes. Under this term, there is no minimum time set by the judge, and the defendant is never considered for payroll. According to data for, from the UK Ministry of Justice, there were only 60 whole life prisoners in the UK as of June 2021, out of nearly 7,000 inmates serving life sentences. Everard, a 33-year-old marketing executive, went missing on the evening of March 3rd, March 3rd after leaving a friend's house in Clamp Clampham, South London. Her remains are found days later in Woodland near Ashfold, Kent more than 50 miles from where she was last seen. Cogins was later arrested at his home in Kent, close to where Everard's body was found. He pleaded guilty to the charges, so there was no trial. The sentencing hearing over the past two days was the opportunity for the prosecution to present the facts that what happened in March and for Everard's family to read the impact, impact statement. This court sketch provided on September 2029, Susan Everard Wright, the mother of Sarah Ed Everard, reads, reads a victim impact statement as former Metropolitan Police Officer Wayne Cogins left sits in the dock at the Old Bailey in London. Prosecutor, Prosecutor Little summarized the Cogin's actions as deception, kidnap, rape, strangulation, fire. Little, Little also detailed what eyewitnesses to the kidnapping on March 3rd saw, saying they observed the Cogin's handcuff Everard who appeared complaint and had her head down. 
they thought that he was an undercover police officer arresting a woman. Everard was alive for hours after he her kidnapping and was moved to Kujin's own car later that evening, the prosecutor said. In order to have done so, and without her escaping or trying to escape or make a noise, it can be inferred that he at least must have threatened her, Little told the court. Prosecutors believe the Everard died around 2.30 a.m. on March 4th, several hours after she was kidnapped by Cousins. Everard, the family was given the opportunity to speak in court on Wednesday, demanding that Cousins, who spent the hearing with his eyes closed and head bowed, and look at them while, while they read their statement. Sarah's mother, Susan, said her daughter spent the last two hours on, he, on this earth with the very worst of humanity. She lost her life because the way Cousins wanted to satisfy his perverted desires. He treated my daughter as if she was nothing and disposed of her as if she was rubbish. I'm haunted by the horror of it.